Hi there, I'm Mark Bowden. I'm an expert in human behavior and body language, and I help people all over the world to stand out, win trust, and gain credibility every time they speak. And I'm here with my friend, Scott Rouse from the Behavior Panel. Scott, will you introduce yourself to us? Hey, I'm Scott Rouse. I'm a body language expert and analyst, and I train law enforcement in the military in interrogation and body language. Lovely. Thanks, Scott. So, Scott, people are asking me all the time about my mic setup, my sound setup for Zoom calls, video calls. And uh, I thought I'd have a chat to you about my setup and your setup, because okay. like me, you're kind of into sound, in fact, probably more so than I am, because actually, Scott, tell us a bit about your background before being an expert in human behavior and body language. Okay. Well, I was a record producer for 32 years. At the same time, I was an interrogator, but but I, the worlds didn't cross. Very, every now and then they cross, but not very often. So that's what I did for years and years and years. And I I was a producer. And I produced a, a whole lot of, of, of albums for a whole lot of artists and sold a whole lot of records. Lovely. Uh, like, for example, here, just to show, just, and I'm going to show you this. So when I start talking about my setup, you'll say, well, what does he know? So I got <laughs> these. That's nice. Oh, uh, that's gold. So nice. I've got uh, over here. I've got a platinum there. That's oh, that's new beautiful on the block. Beautiful. And I see yeah. you've got a, a silver YouTube award at the back there oh, as yeah. well. Just oh to, yeah. Uh... <laughs> I've got that. Thanks to Mark. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, ours so so love yeah okay so so this explains that you do know the business end of a microphone you actually have yeah. some experience of, of of sound and you've won awards around around that so look um first of all i'm going to take people through my sound setup and then we'll take them through yours and we can okay. see what they they think so here's what i've done scott i got a, what's called a shore microflex uh, MX412, which is the, the exact microphone that you'd find on a lectern. You know, when you go up to a lectern and you're speaking to an audience or you're on one of those award shows, you know, yeah. and, and you have to go up to the mic and you're one of those actors receiving, it's the thing that they lean into and start whispering into like that. Instead of understanding that the microphone is designed to pick up a Kona sound like this and right. just designed for the human voice. So I thought... Well, as I'm, you know, speaking via video, I may as well use the kind of mic that's used on a lectern. So I've got that, and it's got, and that, by the way, will cost around 230 US dollars. It's, it's relatively expensive. Not as expensive as some mics can be. Some can literally be, as you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. But that's about 230. It's going through a preamp and compressor. So it, the, the preamp kind of builds up the sound a little bit more, adds some tonality in the compressor, uh, means that it won't kind of peak and produce a nasty kind of distorted sound if I lean into it and I'm too loud. If I shout, it's probably, you know, it should be compressing it and not making a nasty sound on the whole, we hope. And then, oh, by the way, that compressor will cost me like uh, about 130 US dollars. And then that analog signal has to be turned into a digital so signal. And I've got a Scarlett uh, 2i2 to do that. That's about $160. All in all, the sound that you're hearing now has cost around about $520. It's pretty expensive, probably for most people. I, I love it. But look, you're a, you're a record producer. Um, what are you using, Scott? My guess is you've got something pretty impressive there. Well, if I'm doing something like, like now, I'm doing a voiceover for a book. So a lot of times I'll use something like this. And it's the Audio Technica, the, uh, which one is it? The, oh yeah, the AT2020. That's really nice because it catches the low end, catches the, uh, the high end. It's really clean. If you got a great compressor, it really helps a whole lot. And when I'm doing Zoom calls, and uh, say when we're doing the behavior panel or something like this, I spent almost $50 on this little microphone here. And it's called the Insignia. Oops. It's the Insignia. And it's just, I got it at Best Buy. Or actually, I got it from Amazon. But at Best Buy, they have them for, for like, I think, 44 bucks, And it comes to about 48 bucks, 49 bucks. So it's almost $50. And I just plug it straight into my computer, USB it right in. Right, so you're not, you're not going through a compressor, you're not going through any analog to digital converter, that is USB straight into your system. And I that's want it. people to listen to, to what my voice is producing right now. And now have a listen to Scott. Scott, give us something. 
All right, and here's mine for less than $50 straight in, no compressor, no EQ, no nothing, just right into the mic. And it's just sitting right over here in a cup. Yeah, so it's not even right in front of you. Like some people have bought, you know, really super expensive broadcast mics, which means they have to sit right in their face right here to yeah. get that sound. And it, it's like, I'm a podcaster, look at my mic kind of kind of thing. I have one of these. You gotta have so one you of those. You know, a little windscreen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so it obscures your face. And, and then you've probably got to add a bit more uh, signal to it as well. You're mm -hmm. probably going to want a compressor on it as well. You've got to convert it. You're doing none of that. And it's just a fantastic sound. I think, quite honestly, when I listen to the two sounds, I prefer yours. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, well, that, sound, that sounds great. Yeah, it's and all it is is just this this one thing, and and I, hand of God, it's just right into the to the computer because I listened to them and I and I, I did a setup too because I got some fairly nice mics. Went through the whole compression. I used my Uries. I used everything, and when it came down to it, the less expensive that I went, the better it sounded because I think these things are set up for that. They're not zoom isn't set up for youtube isn't set up for this wonderful sound as you go into your computer to be converted into to exactly what the nuances nobody cares so it just catches the, that the frequencies go from real go from really low to really high and the vocal frequency is usually right in here in that picture it would be right in here and that's all it's really catching and so that, i think that's why it sounds so tight and and so you can hear everything with with no problem at all with not too much bottom in when i was moving stuff around the table that was booming pretty big but it's move it on top of a big table but when you're just talking less than 50 bucks you can't beat it yeah i i've i've heard lots of other kind of tabletop mics some really kind, kind of quite good ones expensive ones you'll have all heard of them like yeti have got some road there's i think this is better it's like it's it's it's, it's fantastic and, and to that point scott you know this is a popular uh form it's like speaking mm -hmm. to each other it's it's pop music it's pop art and mm -hmm. so you've so. got to have equipment that can set up straight away and is absolutely cheap as chips so you know you can get on zoom or whatever platform or youtube and start talking to people immediately without a lot mm -hmm. of fiddling about because it's about yeah. the communication not about the equipment essentially just like music is about you know the song not about you know what it's being played on essentially right so thanks for taking us, uh, taking us uh, through that, Scott. That was, that yeah, was man. fantastic. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. For, a, for an episode of the Behaviour Panel. I'll be there. I'll be waiting on Look you. Look forward to that. Thanks, Scott. See you Bye now. Bit. See you.